Hello, my name is John Rinaldi with Real-Time Automation. I put together this little video today so that you could learn a little bit more about Ethernet IP before I give you a call to discuss all the details. There's a, the number one question, of course, that I always get right away, how much does it cost? Well, I can't give you an answer to that right now because I don't know what kind of platform you have. I don't know whether you need a scanner or adapter. I don't know what your data representation is. I don't know how much data you're going to have. Uh, I don't know if you need to support a particular device profile. I don't know what kind of package you want. So there's lots of questions we have to answer before we get to that cost thing. And we, but we will get to it. So one of the things that I think that are more important right now is Number one, you know, have you found a vendor that's really knowledgeable on Ethernet IP and has wrote their own code? There's a lot of people out there that are just reselling somebody else's Ethernet IP. Heaven help you when you go to them for support at the end. There's another thing is what kind of plat, you know, the platform's important. Are you using an RTOS or no RTOS? We can support either, either way. What matters to us is the TCP IP stack. You know, speaking of... Uh, uh, of support, you know, you need to get good support. Are you going to get good support from your vendor? That's a great question that you want to ask right away. With us, you're going to actually talk to the guy who wrote the code. Can't get better support than that because we're a small company. There's only eight of us, and uh, some of our competitors, Molex, for example, are like 30,000 people. I doubt you're going to find the guy that wrote the code. And what about the API? That's another question. Are you getting a good API? Well, let's let's talk about some of these things in a little bit more detail. What's our, who's RTA, how long they've been in this Ethernet IP business? We've been in it since day one. In fact, I can prove it. We had the very, very first device ever certified at the ODVA test lab in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Yep, before Rockwell. All of those Rockwell devices, we were there first, we had our code done first, and we got certified first. Number one before anybody else. So that tells you how long we've been in the game. We've been in there for since since day one. Um, now talking about code, you know, how do you get? You know, what about platforms? All right, we support lots of different platforms. Ten, turns out the hardware is really irrelevant to us. Doesn't matter. We hit. We have. We can support anybody's hardware, but what matters is the TCP/IP stack. So if you're using an RTOS, we need to know what the TCP IP stack of that RTOS is. If you're not using an RTOS, you're running your code in line, you can do that, not a problem. You need to have a TCP IP stack, though, that supports that. So, because our code is, all of our code is ANSI C, the TCP IP stack functions are integrated right there in, in one single C file. So we just swap that out depending upon what you need. So all we have pl complete platform support. Now, how is, what do you have to do to get integrated? Well, first thing you're going to need is you need to be able to build an object model because that's what your customer is going to look at. What's an object model? It's the data representation on Ethernet IP. We're going to help you get that done. Now, on Ethernet IP, data's, data is represented by objects, instances, and attributes, right? So your data has to be, there has to be a translation from the data that object instance attribute into your data representation. That's the object model. You know about your data, we know about object models and how PLCs and other scanners use your device. We work together to build that object model. So what's it going to take to integrate this? Well, our code is all ANSI C. No problem, we work with any IDE at all, so that's not a problem. We support lots and lots and lots of different RTOSs and TCP IP stacks. We may have the one that you need already done. If not, We'll have, there might be an extra cost in order to have us support the one that you need. And what about the API? The API, of course, is one of the critical things. We have a really simple API. We've been refining it and not refining it. We got it down to pretty much two pointers, one function, and some initialization. Yeah, that's right. Two pointers, one function, and some in initialization. Some people have gotten this integrated in an afternoon. Some people have gotten it integrated in, in two days. Other people, well, let's not talk about some people. So we've had some, there are some people that are just incapable of doing this. Uh, adapters versus scanners. Another key question that people have to know up front. You have to decide what you need. An adapter is the end device. That's the device that actually does some kind of function on the machine. Uh, that's a valve block. That's a drive. That's anything that's out there. A scanner is a controller device. The scanner creates connections with a bunch of adapters. 
it sends messages out to the adapters, the adapters send their data back. So that's all, there's this, this continuous data exchange. That's what Ethernet IP is. What about certification? You have to get your Ethernet IP device certified, but we're going to help you with that. We have a program where you send us your device, we'll pre-certify it, we'll represent you at the lab, we'll take care of that for you. Okay, what do you need to do next to get going here? All right, you need to email me to tell me what kind of what what kind of uh, device you're building, what kind of platform it's on, uh, if you need to support some particular kind of device profile. I might I might have some suggestions for you. If you say you're doing a drive, I'm probably going to tell you you need to support the drive profile. So we need to have some discussions like that, and then. Once you tell me that, then I'll give you a call back. We'll go through all of these technical details and the API in, in, a, in a little more detail. I've got a 30-minute web prep presentation I can do for you and your management team, take you through all the technical details, take you through the royalty-free business model so you know that you're not going to have to uh, pay a lot of uh, ongoing costs here, and then we can talk uh, detail about getting this thing integrated. So I look forward to talking to you. Thank you very much for calling us at RTA. I think you found the right resource to get your device integrated on Ethernet IP.